Welcome to the Sodas Road podcast with Pat Shea, myself, and my co-host, who you guys have met briefly, briefly before in a few videos, Carter. Yeah, Wheels. Also known wheels. as Wheels. <laughs> we did introduce you as Wheels uh, early and often. Yeah, yeah. Coming with the short hair look now. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. You had the suit on and the long hair. What, what made you, uh, why'd you make the decision to cut the hair off? Sweat, man. Sweat. I was sweating out too many sodas. I was taking down like eight liters of water a day. Are you just stupidly hydrated? Yeah, I piss water. Yeah, you do. I'm clear all the way through. Yeah, the Soda's a Road name. Why, uh, where the name came from, uh, why I chose Carter as my co-host, why I'm starting a new podcast, um, future of my hockey, future of my YouTube, all questions you guys are probably having right now. But yeah, this is this is my new podcast. We'll be posting as of now twice a month. I know right now it's it is not Monday. It's either Thursday or Friday. But going forward, we will be posting the first Monday of every month and the third Monday of every month. And that will be the schedule going forward. For now, if we get some steam, we might pick up more episodes per month. We'll see uh, how my workload is. Uh, the Soda Road name. So, Carter, Wheels. Yeah. We met, actually, it was kind of funny how we met. Um, and for you guys who have seen him in the videos, one being my reacting to my first pro game, but also you've been in a few uh, notable comedy sketches that have done well on TikTok. The frat guy, if he had a baby. Kev. Meeting your roommate, college. When every guy, when he meets his college roommate, that was a very popular one for us. And uh, there was a couple others too, but you guys have seen him, moral of the story. We met weirdly, so <laughs> you used to DM me. We <laughs> Wheels used to DM me. He was, he was sort of a fanboy, but not like not like a weird fanboy. You got to follow your dreams, boys and girls. <laughs> you, uh, you, so you were going to UMaine for track at the time. Uh, clearly a hockey guy, just lost in the field. He got lost in the field for a sec. And, um, he was coming in the year after I left and obviously the, the cove happened and I, I had to take the year off of hockey. So I was up at UMaine a lot that year. And my friend Colt was on the track and field team. He's like, Oh, you finally have to, you have to meet Carter, the guy who's been DMing you. And I would, I didn't follow you back. Yeah. You had no respect for the kid. I disrespected you a lot, dude. It's like, who's this fucking psychopath in my DMS? <laughs> yeah. But now, but now we're here. Mm -hmm. We met that year and uh, immediately hit it off. Our banter was next level banter. Yeah, it was uh, next level. I'm pretty sure I remember the first joke was something about Sidney Crosby and the Stanley Cup. We made a joke about it. We were talking about what year you were born and then it somehow turned into 97 to 87 to Crosby and then it was Stanley Cup finals and then it was just game over. Yeah, you're probably like, dude, you know, like 97, like McDavid, that's why he's number 97. And I'm like, I'll one up you. Do you know why Crosby's number 87? Probably some bullshit like that. It was along those lines. But uh, shortly after that, I had you in the video, that TikTok video, like right away. I had you do a comedy sketch like a week after knowing you. I thought, yeah. I was like, oh, this guy's got a funny personality. We were bantering hard. And if you watch yeah, that video, really in that video, actually, there is a moment, more than one moment, where we, <laughs> we say the same thing at the same exact time. <laughs> And we knew each other for a week. At yeah, that, and that was at happening that before the video. Like that was just randomly happening. The colder regions of America are like forming as the new spots of mm. video, videoing, TikTok, talking, talking. Yeah, yeah, talking. Not like talking, but like yeah. TikTok. -talking. Talking. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> weird. Yeah, yeah. Weird. Nice. <laughs> we we were improving the whole video basically, and we had a live audience that time, and they were like, "Are you guys fucking? Did you guys script this? Are you planning this?" Because we sounded like we were like sharing a brain and we were like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like doing nucks and shit. And uh, Colt was like, this is hysterical. Like we're saying the same thing at the same time. And yeah. whatever, we're laughing about it. You're like, oh, sodas, sodas. Like, yeah, so like you owe me a soda. You, you owe me a soda. As our friendship developed and kept going, we, we were hanging out a lot that year. And it got to a weird point where we were saying like full sentences at, <laughs> at the same exact time. <laughs> It was bizarre. It wasn't. It wasn't normal. You know. You know, like uh, twenty one Jump Street, maybe twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. The the two the two twin brothers. That was us. 
Yep, that exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we uh got to a point where like we started doing that so much where whenever we were hanging around a new person, we would do it and we just look at each other and go like sodas. Yeah, you owe me a soda. Then, yeah, and then he Carter, I think you might have said it the first time. You were like, yeah, like sodas are owed often when you're around yeah. us. We all. <laughs> so then everything every time the next few times it would happen we we're just like sodas are owed instead of yeah. you owe me a soda sodas are owed and it was kind of that inside little joke where like you might read the name sodas are owed and be like what does that mean well I, that's kind of the beauty of it it has that little inside meaning and i guess kind of just represents like you and like your boy who are super tight and good at bantering and that's kind of it's like, the boy you're not afraid to be yourself around you know you need more of them in your life and that's what we're here to do. If you ever DM me, I will answer you. Unlike <laughs> that, that is exactly the point I'm trying to make. You know, like uh, I'm hoping, like watching this, will remind you guys of that, like friend you have that, like that you're bantering with, that you're not afraid to be yourself around. You can just fully yeah. uh, talk the shit with. So that's what the name is, Soders Road. That's the meaning behind it, and that's why I have Wheels as my co-host on Soders Road. Yep. We made it to the big stage. I guess the, the, I mean, the title of this video or potty podster is that I resigned. So like, even though I already announced in the title, people will likely still click it to confirm that it's real. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no clickbait. I did resign with the main Mariners. And uh, it took a little bit. Uh, it was a few weeks of hardcore negotiations as, you know, arbitration, trying to, more, trying to get more money. Speaking of money, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Clio. Clio is a money app that has your back, sometimes scratches it too if they're feeling nice, but they help you make great money decisions using their app. You know, as a pro hockey player and social media creator, I have incomes coming from many different sources. It gets super confusing fast. In fact, I actually have sometimes no idea how much money I'm even making. I just spend and hope for the best, you know? But thanks to Clio, this process has now become so much smoother as I can go on the app, I check, I know how much income I have each month and how much I'm spending, so that way I know I'm not spending too much money. After I downloaded the app and connected my bank accounts, it, it turns out, you know, Clio holds you accountable and they roast you and they and they told me that I do spend too much money sometimes. I, I spend over $1,000 on PayPal every month which is connected to my DoorDash. Apparently I'm spending too much money on late night food, like like cheeseburgers, McFlurries, milkshakes, all the bad stuff, the whole nine. Really, it's kind of embarrassing. And But now I know, thanks to Clio, and I can take the steps to becoming a better person and better with my money, better with my spendings. And if you wanna get control of your spendings and start making the right decisions, Clio is the app for you. Head over to the app store, download it today, and get started. So yeah, I uh, I re-signed with the main Mariners. Um, I did that a few weeks ago. They haven't announced on social media, so I take the power into my own hands. These things. And I announce it myself. So how do you feel about that, Wheels? Uh, I'm proud of you. I'm glad I didn't... Uh, I'm glad you didn't get traded in like a deal, you know? Yeah. For like three first rounders but you're here you're in maine still so we'll be uh we could be in person soon that's what i'm saying you're you're about two hours north uh yeah well i will be you know yeah we'll have to get you down maybe like once a month we'll bang out a couple episodes yeah maybe and a see, skit, sketch oh lots of sketches we'll be filming tons of those yeah if anyone is from pixar or like disney or anything like and you know a guy or you need two guys in a in a video like we're right here yeah, exactly. People over at Disney Plus, Pixar, the whole, the whole gang. We're not not just animated either. Like we're not just animated no. guys. No, no, no. But no, I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling strong. Maybe, maybe a couple couple more AHL games. Maybe we'll get their points right on elite prospects. Yeah, right. That that was fucked, huh? Yeah, that's a bit. It's a bit better than my nine games, though. <laughs> you uh. Actually, we'll, let's get to that in a sec. Uh, I do want to just make sure I clear, like, yes, I'll be back in Maine. Excited to be back there. Um, if you guys were at the games this, this year, feel free to come again. We'll say hello. I'll say what up after the game. I did it a few times with a few different uh, followers or subscribers, whatever you're uh, watching and watch me on. So feel free to reach out. Pumped to be back in the area. Love Maine. It's like a second home now. Hopefully, I'll be closer to Portland. 
not old orchard beach and uh yeah that when i got the call up to the ahl they did not give me my first assist they they just didn't credit me for it pretty heartbreaking was it a secondary assist it was a first oh it was wow a primary. So it, wow primary primary care doctor apple right there so it went your tape to their tape to twine and you didn't get credit. yeah how about that fucked right Dude, that's like that's like doing all the work in the project and not getting the grade for it. I guess I feel the pain of everyone I've done a project with. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I, I sit there and do, did nothing in those. So I guess sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, apologies are owed. Yeah, sorries are owed. <laughs> not just sodas here. <laughs> yeah, fuck that's that sucks by me, huh? Now I'm kind of feeling guilty, especially in my senior project that you may and i i was so done with school that i i sat there and didn't even speak in class like they probably thought i was a mute like like i was a they thought you were Kawhi leonard eh? what's that they thought you were Kawhi leonard yeah yeah exactly no, no they, language they thought and uh actually there was a girl who even you know a girl who knew a girl who knew a girl who got back to me and knew knew me and was like my friend who knows so and so said that you're really quiet in class and i was like yeah it's all part of the plan, all part of the scheme to make sure they do uh, they do all the work. I play dumb, act like I have no fucking clue what's going on, and that's how we get it. That's how we get the damage done in the classroom. Yeah, I you having some it. distractions over there? Yeah, some 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 of my boys are outside right now, like in the house or outside the house. No, they're outside my house, like looking through the window because my windows are open. They're watching you do the pod live. Yeah, audience. they're just standing right there being creeps, but whatever. Fucking creepers, man. Yeah, they're giving Tiger Woods some shout outs. Some orders are owed to them. Restraining orders. Fucking hell, man. Let's get back to the regular scheduled program here. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about your hockey career because uh, I'm actually doing this. I, I've recorded a future episode that I have where I two of the other kids that I've filmed sketches with, I just kind of sat down and talked to them and kind of like wanted the audience to know the person that or the people that I'm filming with. Yeah. So they kind of have that, like, that's why I wanted to do this podcast, especially, and I'll, I'll get into the future of my YouTube after this, but I, I kind of want to keep that personal connection to like the viewer. Cause if I'm going like comedy sketch and like short film heavy on that side of things, I still want to keep that personal connection. So you obviously is someone that I film with continuing to do this pod with and have filmed with. I want people to know who wheels is, you know, why is he wheeling? Why does he wheel the way he wheels? You know, why is his why is his brain doing the things that it does? I'll let you take the floor. Where are you from? What, what's your background of hockey? Uh, I'm from Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Um, played hockey since I was like three until about 15. And then I stopped playing hockey to run track and field for whatever decision that was. I was, I don't know what I was thinking. At the time, I thought it was a good decision, but... As soon as I stepped foot into America, I instantly regretted it four years later. But uh, this past fall, I thought I'd take a go at it four years later. And uh, I was playing Junior B in Sarnia. And I played nine games and had zero points <laughs> and zero assists, zero goals, six penalty minutes. Well, I do. I, do, <laughs> I want to stress how, like, uh, I guess, beauty of a move it was for you to do that. Cause so wheels, wheels went uh, to Maine for his freshman year, <laughs> for half for for one semester, half a year. Yeah. And instead of going back for his sophomore year, he was like, "Fuck track and field that I'm on a scholarship for," <laughs> and you dipped out to go play junior hockey again. Yeah. And it was like, "Fuck!" He just this guy just gets it. He gets the game. You know, he knows yeah. the game. It was just sick. You lived it for a little longer, and then you went back to Maine again. Your sophomore, uh, yeah. Then half. I went back. I was doing online school while that whole uh, event was going. Although my time in Sarnia was filled with absolute beauties, um, great guys. Yeah, um, I re reconnected with some old some old pals, and I wasn't I wasn't mad about it at all. Any old flames? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lots. Yeah, of them. yeah, we got. <laughs> Yeah. Lots of old flames. We love those. But then, then we went back. Then we went back to Maine, and uh, I got to give a huge shout out to some current Maine hockey players: uh, Lyndon Breen 
uh, Donovan Hool and Victor Osman for welcoming me into their home. That's right. I, I missed that, but you're actually, you're kind of like boys with all the boys on the UMaine team now. Uh, I'll, yeah, like, yeah. Is there any that hate you? Maybe. There could Is there be a some. Few? Is there a few that are like, fuck this guy, thinks he's part of the team? Like, I don't know if it's that, like, I feel like I, I let them do their own thing. I just live with the boys, and if they invite me, I go. Right. You know, like, I'm not looking, I'm not uh, asking to go, but I mean, fuck. I just try to have fun, you know. Some guys, if some guys don't like having fun, then I guess that's their own problem. But I think I get along with all of them. I hope so. Yeah, some I mean, people I, don't I, like having fun. It's weird. Yeah, man. no, I don't know. They don't but, get jokes. Yeah, I love the boys. They're 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 pretty welcoming. Like those kind of people who don't like to have fun, they don't get sodas. Sodas are not owed to them. You no, know? you don't. They don't say a soda. words, but they they've never shared a moment with someone where they're like, "Damn, you sodas are owed to us," because they don't have that connection with people. They don't like having fun. So. Fuck them. That is cool of you. Yeah, no, it's fun. I uh, I enjoy it. That's that's the that's the hockey back on the hockey connection. I'm uh. Yeah. Did I help? Did I help put the breadcrumbs in of you becoming friends with the hockey team? Well, yeah, actually, yeah, because we went, we watched, uh, we went over to uh the apartments one night, and I met some of the older guys there for the first time. That's we had right. a little bit of a we have a little bit of a run in, but the boy. Yeah, <laughs> but we won't get into that. Uh, Nolan, Nolan V's, he was there. They, they, oh didn't yeah, have V's, the boy. You, you, you got along with him, but he, uh, did Nolan, Nolan ran into Drake's dad once, like the Drake's dad. And he went up to him. He's like, yo, big fan of the boy and put his yeah. arm out to dap him up. So he told me a story once or something. I told wheels and he thought it was hysterical. So when we met, uh, Nolan, we're <laughs> rolling with big fan of the boy. You need to talk about what he said about me first. Like, hate to be that guy, but yeah, he did. He walked up. Uh, we'll gas you up a little bit. He walked up to me and he's he saw me talking to you and he was like, "Hey, who's the beauty?" And I was like, "Oh, that's yeah. my boy Wheels." <laughs> yeah, he is indeed. He's a beauty, indeed. He gets it. I do want to touch on the future going forward of my YouTube channel. So I did already say that. First Monday, third Monday of every month. This will be launched, uh, So Does Road, the podcast. Um, I will be doing more stuff on Patreon with with Wheels where we'll probably do like exclusive Q&As on there where you guys can ask us each anything you want. It'll post. We'll post the full thing as uh, Patreon exclusive Q&As. And... There might even be exclusive episodes in the future, but for now, that's it will just be the Q and A's. So I'm kind of sick of vlogging. I'm pretty sick sick of vlogging, which I'm it, ironically it kind of gave me my start. That's how you found me, right? You were you were looking at my vlogs. Yeah, I was a big fan of the Day in the Lifers. Um, not gonna lie. Yeah, they, they and uh, I used to have a lot of a ton of fun filming them in uh, college specifically, but when you're on your own. Not as fun filming vlogs. Um, doesn't take a ton of creativity to do. And I kind of got sick of like, I don't want to film myself on the ice or wear a GoPro on the ice. It's just, that bores me. Like watching that content and filming You're that past content that. bores me. You're past that. Yeah, I'm past that. I, That's an old I, flame. Exactly, exactly. And if I feel like if I just keep vlogging, it's just doing the same thing. It's not really progressing of where I want to go. Um, so obviously I got... As I've said before, I'm like super motivated and energized with like making comedy sketches, short films, and just kind of being creative. And it, I just like vlogging, while it was fun for me for a while, got pretty stale. It's kind of the same thing over and over again, where a comedy sketch and creativity, it's never quite the same. It's like you kind of have, you can do anything with it. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a lot of fun for me. And that's always where my energy really was and always has been. The vlogs were kind of something I did for a bit. And then I'm, I don't know, I just, I just feel stale being like documenting about my hockey career. I just, that's not what I want to be. Like when I think about like where I want to take it, it's hockey lasts for X amount of time. Um, and then it's done, you know? So it's like, I'm grateful that it gave me that like base audience and I will continue making hockey related content. I love making like comedy videos about hockey. It's hilarious to make fun of hockey players. And we we're love hockey. We're, we're idiots. So it's fun. Um, but 
specifically like vlogging about my career like i'll talk about it on here of course but that kind of style i just feel i'm getting away from and going more like sketches heavy creative heavy so i'm going to be posting three to four every month on top of this podcast um i have a lot in the vault right now starting next week i have one that's called a real day in the life of a d1 college football player So that's kind of a concept I'm doing because of the hockey one where it's like, it's kind of a twist on day in the life, but I'm completely being creative and making fun of it. I'm having fun with it. Parodies? Yeah. The football one is, is jokes. I'm making fun of like a day in the life of a football player. What, what I imagine their real life is rather than what they're showing to the camera. Cause I feel like that's such a problem or like a pro mostly in hockey, but it's like, to the media, we put on this like front and then what really happens when you're with your friends. But like, you can't quite show that. Like, especially if I'm blogging, no one's gonna actually say anything or be that their real self. It's locker room talk, you know? So I'm taking these moments and I'm completely obviously exaggerating them, making it comedic, making fun of it, but kind of showing what the real life is. So I'm doing that for the football first because it's August and I'm waiting for the hockey ones, but. I've filmed uh, I've filmed like one already, a real day in the life of a college hockey player. And I've probably filmed like five or six other videos that are making fun of the life of a college hockey player. So these are all ones that I've already had and they're all gonna be kind of labeled as behind the cage. So when you see, that's kind of a continuous series where I'm making fun of the real life and showing you what the real life of a college hockey player is rather than the front that gets put onto the media. Cause I'm so sick of that boring, like bullshit that a hockey player puts on to the media. Like so tired of it. And I just want to show and be like creative and show like, this is what we're really like in a comedic way. So that's kind of the direction I'm going. And obviously I'm going to mix in some non hockey related ones and whatnot and real day in the lives of other people and sports that aren't just hockey. I'm going to have fun with it, but that's kind of the direction I'm going in right now. All those behind the cage ones will start launching in September. Uh, Patreon for exclusive, uncut, extended versions of every video. Also, access to all my workout programs are on Patreon. That's the future of the channel. Um, anywho, back uh, back to the programming. Now that you guys uh, know what's going on and uh, what I've been doing for the like my little hiatus and uh, yeah, wheels. Um, we do have a segment called Strug's Boots. Strug's Boots segment of the week. Strug's Boots is a saying that that uh, I think I coined. I think I started. Yeah, you said it. And I didn't really get it. I was like Strug's Boots, and then you're like Uggs Boots, and I was like, yeah, Strug's Boots. And you're like struggles, like you're struggling. And I was like, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that actually. We were sitting say. in the car. We were sitting in the car across from uh, one of the one of the um, uh, what, dorm halls. Yeah. We were about to go for a, a run. Remember, we were gonna go run. Yes. Yeah, and then like do some active. sprints on the. F- yeah. Anyways, I was like, we were. I think we were like, I was talking about someone that I saw in the distance, and you're. I was like, my eyes are good, and then you're like, my eyes are Strug's boots. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and I was like, what? That was we, some funky shit. That uh. Yeah, that I, I got was- good eyesight. If you ever need uh, <laughs> if you ever need sightings, I got it. I was Strug's boots. I say it. I say it when I'm hungover, usually, because if I'm struggling when I'm hungover, I'm like, fuck, I'm kind of Strug's boots today. Because it's a play on Ugg's boots, but you're Strug's. You're Strug's boots. Yeah. And uh, you started saying it. I say it all the time still on my family. I'm trying to get like my family to say it. Like, what the fuck are you saying? I'm like, Strug's boots. Use your no, brain. Strug's boots is classic. Use your noggins. I got my girlfriend to start saying it, too. She says Strug's boots. She gets it. Girlfriends. Girlfriend guy. Yeah. <laughs> right now, yes, I am. Shout out to you. Shout out to my to my girlfriend. Uh, she's private. On, like I keep her private on social media for uh, protective reasonings. I don't need any fucking creeps out there. Unless we want to start like a uh, an OF, like a little premium subscription site where uh, you guys check us out, just getting crazy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll keep it open. I'm not saying no. Never say never. Right. Hit his DM. He probably won't answer, but it might be there. Yeah, yeah. I I, I get a lot of shit about that. <laughs> I get a lot of shit about that trap. It's a danger zone. Shit. 
dude it's tough to keep track of all the dms I, but to be fair i did see your i did see yours i think hey I let's let's talk about uh the amount of great wall of china's we built together yes we did we yeah. did um <laughs> a few times early because you you were sick of staying in the dorms and i was obviously like taking over uh ed's ed's room and in his pad and i was like dude just crash here man <laughs> yeah just come here and we would just build a wall in the middle and uh and we shared a bed but we're not sharing a bed because it's two beds in one when you build yeah a wall. it would be it would be two beds there was a an egregious amount of pillows between us for anyone know, I have a photo of us two with a Great Wall of China. Maybe I'll send it over. I don't know how this is going to go, but maybe you put it in there. Show the fans. I just want to clarify because we had so many pillows that there were no holes in that wall. Nothing nope. was getting through that wall. Nope. Uh, we built it strong yeah. and it had good It was barricade. So actually, if you had to piss at night and you were on the wall side, there's no shot you're getting out. Yeah, you have to piss the bed. And <laughs> because, <laughs> oh, the oh, oh. <laughs> because the wall is so heavy and dense and strong, the piss actually wouldn't get through to the other side. It, it wouldn't even go beds. into the bed. It would just it would just go into air. But hey, let's not talk about that bed. Actually did get pissed once. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. That's on my exclusive. That story is on my Patreon, actually, in the drunk Q&A exclusive extended version. So yes. if you want to hear what we're talking about, then go check that out on Patreon. Um. Strugs boots segment of the week. Yeah, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit Strugs. I'm the toxicity is getting to me, man. I, I don't know. I just I've been I've been having some situation. I haven't had a situation. I've had a few situations go about this summer that I'm not that are catching up to me now. I'm a little bit upset. I'll be the first to say it online. Um, you're you're being like open and brave right now. Definitely, just you just gotta treat the woman right, especially when they do so much for you. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't get caught up in the old flames <laughs> yeah dude old flames are a little uh crazy i actually had an old flame reach out to me uh recently but we can we can put that story on the hold and while well, you continue your strikes boots yeah so basically well i had a uh i had a girlfriend at maine you know she was uh near the at the end of the, the year but like it was we were t we were talking the whole semester and she's a beauty um so shout out to you. You're a beauty. And uh, well, I didn't do anything bad. I just was uh, maybe I wasn't as attentive as she'd like, which is my fault. Anyways. Um, so then something else happened in the summer, you know, like I was talking to someone else and uh, <clears throat> just recently that ended. Um, we kind of got into a little bit of an argument over. Uh, over, I don't know. Let, let's explain it. Like, if it if it's too bad, if it's too bad to put in the vid, then like, yeah. then maybe we don't. But anyways, basically, so I was talking to this girl. We were hang, we hung out a few times. Like, she did also didn't live uh, in Sarnia. She lived about like an hour away. So like we'd travel. We'd have to like travel to see each other when we did. Yeah, it's a commitment. So whatever. Anyways, she, uh, her and I. Well, I didn't answer her. I ghosted her. Because I, the things things just weren't like as adding up, right? And when things aren't adding up, what do you do? You go. I run just away. ghosted her. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> so, anyways, she like she has like uh like a boat here in Sarnia because we live on the Great Water, Great Lake Huron, and uh, so she she comes down on on her boat. And uh, if any of you know what the Be Real app is, uh, she posted in Sarnia. So I texted her because I hadn't talked to her in a few days. And I was like, oh, you're in Sarnia. And she's like, yep. And I was like, oh, you're not going to tell me. Right. Like, just like, yeah, you know, just seeing shade. what she does. So she's like, oh, Obviously. yeah, whatever. So like, I, I start, I start risen her. I start talking to her and she's like, uh, I asked her, I was like, can you pick me up on the boat? Like, I'll go down to the beach right now because I live about 16 steps away from the beach. So I walk down there. She picks me up with her friend. Her friend, Beauty. Um, we go on the lake. Well, it's like me and my other friend, who's a guy, and then t these two girls. And we go down on the lake, and we're just buzzing out there for about an hour. Whatever. It's a good time. Then we come back. They drop us off. We leave. So that's chill. We're planning to go out with them at night, like go out to like the, the scene in Sarnia. Not much of a scene, but it's it's fun. It can be fun. I get a notification and it's uh, one of my boys sends me a screenshot of her act, her on Tinder. 
So I'm like, okay, like I can't be mad. Like obviously I'm a little bit upset, but like I can't be mad. I ghosted her. Like this is the first time seeing her in like a, a, like a, a week. I mean, I, we haven't talked in a few days, so whatever. So I text her about it. I'm like a little upset, but anyways, I end up going. We end up going to the, her boat like docked and like hung out there for the night. I uh, we also went to the casino. I won 150 bucks, yeah, so not a big yeah. deal. Side note, no big deal. Um, but anyways, we had a good night. And then uh, we go back to their bowl, like drop them off and we go home and we're talking like the next morning and things are going good. Like, oh, like also, we'll start talking again. We had a good night. Then I get then Oh, then I go to her boat again in the afternoon and like fuck around there. And I'm not going to lie. I was like, I, I wasn't having a great, I was like a little bit, I don't know. I was feeling a little bit shitty, like just under the weather. So I wasn't my full like talking self. So I'm a little bit quiet, but things are like, things aren't bad. Then I go home. Two more people send me, it, and I was like, "All right, now this is getting like we've talked about like going forward with this. Like, what's happening?" She's like, "Oh, like saying all this stuff." I'm actually gonna read you something. Yeah, that That'd be uh, great. That'd be great for the program. I'll I'll read it out. I'll read what she sent to me, and I'll show you my answer. And honestly, this answer is super toxic. So, so she goes, I've been completely honest with you. And if you don't want to listen, that's your problem. But beyond that, we're getting to know each other. I've said I wanted to take things slow. So whatever this is right now is going to look different than if we were fully exclusive or dating, especially when you aren't talking to me and we've been constantly butting heads. I haven't started talking to anyone else and I've been completely focused on seeing where this goes. I clearly like you, but I'm not trying to control your every move, especially when we don't know where this is even going. So that's a little bit of a fucking not making sense of a paragraph, but fair enough for saying that. And then I hit her with a, the amount of bullshit you say to me is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Eh? <laughs> so not a great answer by me. And then <laughs> like, it, obviously wasn't that, she's not happy. it wasn't that much bullshit, you know? <laughs> yeah. Which obviously said, like she was kind of, uh, I feel like she was probably pissed you ghosted her one. So she was probably like, I got to take the foot off the gas here. Yeah. I, I guess it makes sense. She's trying to take the toxicity back into her own hands. Yes. She's trying but to steer, be, steer the wheel of the toxics. The toxics. You just can't let it happen, boys. I mean, and yeah, girls too. Like, you got to give it back, you know? <laughs> Dude, but yeah. I mean, fuck. It's tough. You can't. It's tough to be too vulnerable too early with, when you're talking to someone or hanging with someone because yeah. they'll take advantage of it. That's why. Like, I, like, I've had a you know, a girlfriend for a year right now, technically speaking, we're not even dating yet, you know, like, cause power, power to us, you know, like, you know, I don't want to show too much vulnerability. So, okay. So actually funny story about that. I'm just kidding though. We are, we are dating now. Yeah. For like four months we weren't. <laughs> the girl in Maine that I was talking to or that I was like with, um, she, well, like before I drove back to Canada, uh, I was at her house and we were talking and I was like, yeah, like I'm not going to ask you to be my girlfriend. I hope you know that. I said that to her and she's like, honest. yeah, I kind of figured. She's like, I figured we were just like, we were just together. Like I didn't expect anything you'd together. ask me. Anything. And I was That's like, yeah. dude, let's not lie. I used to talk about how much of a beauty she was to you all the time. You did. You did talk real nice. Yeah. And honestly, I hope she's doing well and doing happy because clearly doing happy. I wasn't doing, I wasn't being, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't doing the right thing, I guess, for her, but I hope she's what? doing happy, and I hope you get your passport. It's going to her house. Oh, do you know about that? She has my, yeah, yeah. The passport's going to this girl's house. That yeah, that's gonna be interesting for you. I hope I. I mean, they should give it to me. I feel like that's a crime if they don't. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd say it's like a federal crime. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think she has to give it to you. I think you could. That would be an easy fix if you called the police. <laughs> yeah, that would be an easy. But you don't fix, want to get that toxic. You don't want to be holding passports hostage and shit. That's like too much toxic. Okay, no, that would be a bit much. Like if I, like no, like I'm if someone. Okay, honestly, maybe I'm not the smartest for putting the passport there because things maybe sometimes don't work out in your favor. But if I'm gonna be honest, like I was pretty happy in the relationship. I just guess wasn't. I was being not very. Uh, yeah, you kind of dug. I wasn't being a great listener to her, so. Fuck, you got to perk your ears. When someone wants your ears, you got to give them. You got to lend your I ears. I got to give ears. I got to give ears. You just got to send ears to people when they need them. Which is part of So Does Her Oat. That's part of the concept. Like, lend your ears to your boys and sometimes your girl. The right Definitely girl. your girl. Definitely your girl. If you got a girl who who is down for you, 
lend, lend your, your ears. ear yeah. buds as much as <laughs> it is hard ear. to give up lend your ear your ears can go a long way in a relationship like for sure there's always some like entertaining relationship that you're in and I find entertainment in it. You might not <laughs> might be sad times for you sometimes, but I get entertained. Um, it kind of reminded me though, the toxic relationship. Like I used to kind of be in a toxic relationship. It's very high school esque, and she would be like, uh, she'd be like, say like, she'd like tell me to say something or something. And I'd be like, no. And she'd be like, bye. And I'd be like, what? And she'd be like, she like would she like disappear? She wouldn't answer. Or like threaten to like, oh like if you don't do this, like we're breaking up. And that's, that's toxic. as toxic as it gets. So you know me, I'm stubborn. I wouldn't, I wouldn't give in. I'd be like, fuck, fine, we're done. <laughs> that's like, a way to give it back. Fine, see ya. You can't give them power because once you do, they have it. it they can like, walk yeah. all over you. Yeah, but also get the fuck out of the relationship <laughs> because once you also don't give it back then it that's that's a toxic relationship that's double toxicity yeah and you know what they say two wrongs don't make it right not worth it that's a sign get the fuck out sam one would do like say it's like her birthday loved a good birthday post right but she would request it and i'm the kind of guy i'm stubborn like if you tell me to do something i'm probably not gonna do it so I wake up on like, say it's her birthday, right? And I'm like, oh, like maybe I'll give her a little post today, a little cute photo of us, you know, walking a couple dogs. I don't know. Maybe we're dog people. Maybe we're not. And uh, she then she starts, you know, as I'm thinking, then she goes, so you going to post today? And I'm like, oh, so this is happening, right? You're going to yeah, do that's this happened to me? me before. And I'm like, ooh, like I was thinking about it, but like, she's like, oh, what's the caption going to be? Like kind of feel like that's the whole point it's like an element of surprise she would send me a caption like you gotta say this i'm like no i'm not fucking saying that no nope. it'd be like it'd be like fucking happy birthday so and so i love you so much you're the best thing in my life ever like i don't know what i'd do without you i'm like i'm not fucking saying that to instagram <laughs> I, like <laughs> i'm not doing that i don't care Are you even saying that in general no because that's cheesy yeah. that's not like real life shit like we were saying yeah. i love yous and shit but not like that. Like that's cheesy. <laughs> it's like I don't like. Even if I would say that, I'm like, if I if I say it to you is more meaningful to me to go tell Instagram. Like they don't care if I love you. <laughs> they don't yeah. actually give a fuck if I can't live without you. They don't care about me. <laughs> so yeah. me, you typing this caption up. One, I'm not gonna post it now because I'm stubborn. And you want to tell me to write that caption? No way, Jose. So I would like then not post. Yeah. <laughs> And then it would create this whole thing. She's like, everyone else's, everyone else's uh, boyfriends are posting, and I'm like, you know what? They're not me. So that was that was some good toxic moments. Honestly, not even on me though. That's on her. And then clear signs that you just get out of that relationship when it's toxic like that. But yeah, some funny I've, memories I had. I've been I've been there. You've been there Where as well. Why are you posting me? Oh, how about uh, it was like what National Girlfriend Day recently? Imagine not throwing her up on that yesterday. Imagine I didn't. I didn't. I have a girlfriend. I did not post her on National Girlfriend. And Day. was she mad? She actually didn't mention it. Um, she she subtly makes comments sometimes about me not posting her, but and then you say that you want to go to Olive Garden. <laughs> hear me out here, because I I'm my relationship right now is not toxic. It's actually quite nice. Where she's uh she's cool. Um, yeah, she is cool. I met her she's made like comments sometimes about like not posting and she recently started posting me and I'm kind of like, listen, it's kind of, I like having that private part of my life to, to a sense. Like, yeah, like, yes, I post all the time on social media. Why would I not post my girlfriend? But it's like, I don't post my personal things online. You know, I, I post a part of me and like, whatever. I like having something to myself. That's not, for the public really or yeah it's not they're, they're kind of questioning I, like what's going on there because w- once you do that then it's they're all up in your business and then two i said okay so what if i post you and someone comments on it talking shit about you how would you feel how would you react to that and she uh she did not she was like oh yeah never mind i would hate that i would cry i'm like well there you go <laughs> Cause like That's people fair. sometimes comment mean shit. Like people comment mean shit about me, and I can take it. I do it, you know. But it's like, all right, there's a couple of reasons why I don't, and it's not it's not anything against her. That's for me, you know. So that's 
that's why I don't right now. But no, uh, I back it. I respect it. Brings us to our next little segment here that we started a little while back. Um, hard hitting questions, and I had one because if, speaking of my my girlfriend, the uh, you know you know when you get your back scratched, yeah, it's great, right? It's good. Like the boys love it. So I request sometimes or ask and like, she's like lazy. She doesn't want to do it. It takes too much time. She'll do it for like a few seconds. And I'm like, this is fucking garbage, you know? And I'm pissed. I'm like, scratch my back. You're like, you scratch my back. I scratch your back. Yep. And one day the question got to me, brought up to me and was like, would you rather for the rest of your life (laughs) never get a back scratch again ever? Or do get back scratches, but you'll never get head again. Receive back scratches forever? Yeah. Or never give back scratches and never get head? No, no. So it's one or the other. Essentially, which one would you rather pick for the rest, but you can't have the other? Back scratches or head? I think I'm taking, I think I'm getting, I think I'd rather have back scratches forever. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll take back. I want to have back scratches. Like we can still have sex. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I was going dude, back scratches for sure. That's it all. That's all I'm saying. And that just, that was a question I had. And I guess it is kind of hard. Um, well, if you had any emotional, if you had any like touch to your self, I think um, back scratches are more intimate anyways. Like it's just one of those things. Do you have any hard hitting questions off the top of your head? Not super hard, but like I, I'll hit you with some would you rathers. Yeah, give me a would you rather. Okay, would you rather would you rather be sorry, would you rather have four legs or four arms? Ooh. Interesting. Oh, I feel like fuck. Because you can't grab. If you have legs. Shit. That's tough. Yeah. I think. But you wouldn't be as fast either if you picked arms. It's catch 22. I think I would pick the arms because life without grip and like thumbs and being able to hold things would be hell. Yeah. I think I was an arms guy too. Yeah. It makes sense. Although it would be cool to be fast and all, but. Oh, yeah. You'd be like a cheetah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you go fine. four legs, you're like a dog basically. Yeah, and dogs can fly. Dogs can zip. Yeah. It just comes down to if you want to live a life like a dog or a human, I guess. <laughs> yeah, more so. Which one do you want to live more like? Or dogs any or other animal with four legs. Yeah. No, that totally Okay, my makes next sense. one is um I heard this one through one of my friends kind of like friends one of my friends brother He was uh, recently at the NHL draft combine and the NHL draft, but he got this one. Someone, they asked him this question in the interviews and I'll explain after what the significance was, but it was, would you rather be a telephone pole or a light post? Like, would you rather be like the telephone pole or a light post? So what would you rather be? And then I'll explain to you what I heard was the proper answer for that. Telephone post? Yeah, that's a good answer. I think, yeah, I was thinking because like all the power goes through you. Yeah. Well, and you're connecting so many people. The The reason, the reasoning was a cement post is really only good for like the light, like one light, like you're supporting one thing, like yourself. But the telephone pole is you're connecting millions of people together. You're bringing people together. And that makes sense. No, that's the goal here in Soda's Road. We are not light post guys here. We are telephone pile guys through them, through, through and through. And if you're a telephone pole like us, let us know in the comments because that's what we're about here. Just being some telephone poles. Telephone poles. And oh, also, if you're from Canada and you are offended by soda, just get over it. Um, we did have we did have that talk, actually. I'm, I'm from Canada and soda is fine. Like when have you when you've jinxed someone and said you owe me a so- you, you don't you don't owe me a pop. You owe me a soda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you don't owe me a pop. <laughs> like I say pop every in every other sentence probably known to mankind except for this. Pops are owed just doesn't sound. No, it's weird. 
pops are owed. No, so does yeah. Malone. And you know what clean. would happen if we said pops are owed? We wouldn't even. That'd be like we didn't have the same brain. You know what I mean? Like we wouldn't be saying the same things. Yeah, ex- exactly. And you would be thinking like your dad owed you something. You're like pops yeah. owes me what? Like what are yeah. pops owed? It's not Father's Day, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that'd be fucking weird. Um, speaking of fathers, sorry. Speaking of fathers, does your dad get a ring? Yes, he does. That's sick. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of fathers. This is his old sweater. Yeah. <laughs> his old J? This is his old J at BC and Shay right here. He um he works for the Avalanche now, for those who don't know, and he will be receiving a ring uh for that Stanley Cup dub. No big deal. No big deal. Nope. Um nope. I think that's all we have to touch on. It's been I, I want to say it's been almost an hour of uh filming there. It's a good little it's a good length. Do you have anything else you want to touch on before wrapping this first episode up? I think we're all good. Yeah. If you guys have any uh questions that want that you want answering for that uh will be on the exclusive q a's feel free to ask uh, in the comments and uh let us know what you guys want to hear us talk about questions you have like we might even bring some up on the uh on the pod live just let us know let us know your thoughts hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of sodas road excited to get this rolling yep excited to talk that's all it is we're just gonna be talking you're here with us <laughs> don't be afraid to, to send a dm yeah, yeah. Send DMs. Go follow Wheels on Instagram too. He needs a couple more. A couple of yeah, Please. And follow our Instagram page, So Does Road. And our TikTok. See you guys. Bitch, I'm on, no, I'm, take a drag, I ain't feeling in my